Hi everyone, this is Epson EcoTank L3270 and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up this multifunctional printer using your Windows PC. Also I will show you how to print documents and how to scan using Epson application. So let's get into it right now. I suppose your printer is ready to work, I mean you've filled the tanks with the inks, you've loaded some paper and the printer looks pretty much like this. Next on your computer, make sure you're connected to the internet and then open any web browser. In a web browser, Google search for download driver Epson Ecotank L3270. The first link is Epson support website with your printer's model and click on that. Next, in this drop down, select your operating system, Windows 11 in my case. Also, you can select language here if you need and click on go. Now, scroll down and select an Epson product setup, download this application. This app will do everything for you, so you have just to click on the file to open it. Now you can minimize or close your browser and hit yes. Now it's updating something, you don't have to do anything, just wait. The app is starting and first you need to accept the license agreement, confirm your action, yes. You can uncheck these checkboxes if you don't want to participate in product improvement, but let me stay like this. Uh, click next. Now make sure the printer is turned on and you finished filling all of the ink tanks. Check this checkbox at the bottom and click next. Now it's download downloading the printer driver. Okay, once you see this window, select your connection method. We will connect via wireless network. Uh, so check this checkbox and click next and wait for the further instructions. In this window, select your Wi-Fi network you wish to connect your printer to. Uh, this printer can connect to 2.4 GHz band only or to uh, dual band network. So select your network name over here. Your password uh, is entered automatically. Click Next. And next, if the following lights are flashing simultaneously, there is an error, uh, so you need to press the Wi-Fi button to clear the error. Let's take a look at the control panel, everything is all right here, the lights are not flashing, so you can click next in this window. And now you need to put the printer into Wi-Fi pairing mode. To do this, press and hold the Wi-Fi button for about 3 seconds until you see the lights taking turns and blinking like this. Then release the button and take a look at your screen. The setup is in progress, so please wait. Now it's checking the system environment. And the next step is software installation. I recommend you to install everything except maybe manuals. Uh, so click on install and wait once again. Now it seems the printer is installed and you can print test page right away, but let's skip this step. I will show you how to print later. Now let's just finish setup. So I'll click on next. Do not turn off your printer so far, as told. And now it's automatically updating the firmware. You just need to click next and the smart application will do everything for you. So I'll click on start over here. So the firmware is updated, click on finish over here and continue in the Epson installer. Now it seems everything is okay and now it takes you to customer research questionnaire. You can just uh, click on ask me later and exit and continue using your printer. Also, if this window appears, you can skip the printer registration. Actually, we don't need to do this for our today's purpose. So let's skip, finish. It takes you somewhere to a website. You can close your browser and we're all set.
and let's finally print something let's say we want to print an email to do this you need to open your mail service uh, select a letter you wish to print click on that then click on the printer icon over here it takes you to the printing dialog so make sure your printer is selected in this drop down now select which pages of this document you wish to print all of them or just some of them you can also enter custom values uh, how many copies of the document you wish to make collate or not collate the copies your layout portrait or landscape now uh, black and white or color so you can see your changes in this preview uh, also if you click on more settings you can select the paper size if it's not selected automatically in my case this is a4 plain paper where is a4 is here uh, how many pages per sheet do you wish to print up to 16 pages as you can see let's print two pages uh, also if you print one page per sheet you can uh, set margins like this also you can set custom margins just move these lines and see your changes but let's print just two pages for this example uh, also you can upscale or downscale your document you can set it to 50 percent and it will look like this or set back to 100 if you don't like the result uh, also apply headers and footers for email or, and background graphics if it is uh, now just click on print and the printer will do its job well it's a pretty good job and let's move ahead if you want to scan documents on your computer you need to use a scanning application and we've just installed native epson scan smart to find this app click on the start menu and start typing scan smart once you see the app click on that next place the document correctly on the scanning surface to do this open the lid and put your document facing down make sure that the top left corner of your document is aligned with the bottom right corner of the scanning surface you have the arrow here pointing on the corner so you need to align corners like this and make sure that the edges of your paper sheet fit snugly with the borders of the scanning surface uh, now close the lid next in the application you may need to adjust your scanning settings to do this click on this gear icon here you can switch between auto photo and document mode which one you can customize so you can select document source but it's only one in this case you can uh, switch document size image type to grayscale or color you can set resolution up to 1200 dpi but uh, 300 is enough for documents uh, enable auto rotation or rotate manually like this and automatically correct document skew uh, also you can switch to advanced settings but experiment with this yourself i won't change this uh, here anything uh, and you can save the scanning preset and use few presets in future for different purposes uh, so once you're done click save uh, also you can enable enhancements for photo customized actions that you can perform after the scanning is done uh, enable default file name uh, adjust saving settings for example adjust PT PDF settings over here set default compression uh, set the password for your files and so on so experiment with these features otherwise the video will be too long if I show you everything uh, also you have some other settings just only one option send information to Epson or not uh, anyway uh, the main point is to adjust the scan settings then you can close this window and click on scan and just wait for the result once you see the scan result on your screen right away you can add more pages to your document to do this just place the next page uh, into the scanning unit don't forget to place it correctly also you can adjust settings for each page separately so you can combine different resolutions uh, color and grayscale scans and so on so once you're done with your settings or you can keep the settings for entire document the same uh, just click on scan and wait for the second page over here
Now you can select pages and crop and rotate them using this simple menu. So just drag these corners like this. Change your document. Click OK to save your changes. Click Yes. The changes cannot be undone, so uh, make sure you did everything like you want. So you can do this for each page, rotate and crop. And once you're done scanning, just click on Next and select an action you wish to perform. Send to Google Drive or just save to file system or print right away. Let's save the file. Uh, you can rename the file if you need so. Uh, select location, just click on Browse. Let it be in my documents, it's OK, select folder. Uh, also, you can select file type. For, for multi-page file, you have to select PDF because PDF only supports multi-page. Uh, if you want to uh, recognize text, select searchable PDF. But it, it may take some time, so let's just save simple PDF, PDF file. For this example, hit save. And your file is here. That's pretty it. Well, if you need some advanced scanning features like document, markup, adding text and editing your PDF right away, you may need to use uh, third-party scanning applications like Adobe Acrobat or something from Microsoft Store. Some of them can be paid, so I, I, I'm sure you will find something uh, suitable for you. And for today, that's it. Now your printer is connected. You know how to use it, so I hope that was helpful. If yes, consider to subscribe to our channel, hit the like button to support us. And any questions comment below and see you in the next videos be awesome bye guys